So we're done. Does anyone else have any questions about how to use hypnosis to help people quit smoking or forget things? <laughs> oh, okay, so I did it really well. <laughs> Just kidding. My name is Diane Richards. I'm a certified quit smoking specialist, and I help people quit smoking in 60 minutes or less, and it's guaranteed. So, as they say, is it this one? Oh, I have to like that. Is it not right? right? They all do. Okay. As they say, it's keynotes, so it should work. Smoking creates all the statistics in the world. So what I want to do is talk to you guys a little bit about them. Almost everyone that I've talked to who is a smoker wants to quit, has tried to quit in the past, and has started smoking again because they had a really hard time quitting. I quit a long time ago and I did a cold turkey and what I say to people, it was a really good thing that I wasn't a menopausal woman living in Texas at the time. Because <laughs> we have been all new headlines there, let me tell you. My father, who had smoked for 40 years, even when he was diagnosed with cancer, wasn't able to quit. So the fact that I'm able to help people do that in a very short period of time really means a lot to me and it's something that I'm quite proud of. So let's imagine for a, mo a moment, and I don't know if you can see it, oh, you can. Imagine for a moment that cigarettes were aliens, okay? <laughs> and this is what they would say. These individuals all died from lung cancer from smoking. The lady that you see on your right in the lower right hand corner is Carol Burnett's daughter. She was 39, she died of lung cancer. All cigarette related deaths. And there's some more. I think a lot of us saw you, Yul Brenner when he did his um, infomercial on TV. He did not have it posted until after he died of lung cancer. And his infomercial was something about, if you're seeing this particular ad, I'm already dead. And the reason I'm dead is from cigarette smoking and from lung cancer. This was the last Marlboro cowboy. He died of lung cancer. Okay. So we see all of these, and then when we see all of these <laughs> types of graphic commercials, and all the advertisements that are on cigarette packages and everything else, it's hard to believe that people actually start smoking, or if they are smoking, that they aren't able to quit. And the thing is, everybody knows that as a smoker, every smoker knows that they shouldn't be smoking. They hear it from their parents, they hear it from their mom, their dad, their second cousin, 21 times removed, that they shouldn't smoke. And people still continue to, or they think that smoking that as a smoker, it's very hard to quit, and it's not. If you want to go to the next slide. So if you know someone who really wants to do this with cigarettes and is looking to stop smoking, have them give me a call. If they've made the decision that they want to quit, I can work with them, okay? If it's not their choice, if it's not something they want to do, there's nothing I can do to help them. What I use in my process is hypnosis and some other techniques as well. These techniques have been tested and modified over 20 years, and it does in fact have over a 90% success rate. This was a study that was done at the University of Washington Medical School about the impact or the, in the use of hypnosis to help people quit smoking. And that over 90% success rate isn't within a week or a month or a year, it was three years afterwards. So it truly does work. And the reason that it works is that we're dealing with habit. And a lot of people who smoke, it isn't about the chemicals and it isn't about what they're getting from the cigarette, it's about the habit. There's all sorts of other things that they do that are related to smoking. I get in my car, I light a cigarette, I go to work. So. Now we stop that habit, and it's all that sort of stuff that gets in the way. So by using hypnosis and being able to work with the mind, we are able to help people quit smoking. So here's some of the good stuff. It should just come up. Um, these are all the things that truly happen when somebody has quit smoking. The body is amazing at being able to heal itself. The thing that I find really, really interesting is that in a short period of time, just 48 hours, there is no nicotine left in the blood or in the body. So when somebody says, oh, a year later, I had a nicotine fit and had to start, mm -mm -mm, not possible. There was something else going on 
maybe there was a crisis in their life, and the last time there was a crisis, they picked up a cigarette, so it's just like, this is what I do. Okay. So that's the really big thing, and that's how it works, and that's why what I do works really well. So, if there's an alien, someone you know that has an alien in their life, I can make that alien go away, and it will not come back. <laughs> Next slide. So. If you know someone who is smoking and would like to quit, and the key is it has to be their decision. This isn't a do-to process. I can't hit somebody over the head and make them quit smoking. It's a do-with process. So I'll have people call me. Um, an individual had been referred, and so I gave him a call, and I said, so I understand that you want to quit smoking. And he said, well, in theory. I said, okay, what does that mean? Well, he loves smoking. He has no intention to quit. He knows he should quit and he doesn't want to. I can't work with someone like that. But if you know someone who truly wants to quit smoking, have them give me a call. I can help them. Diane Richards, Certified Quit Smoking Specialist.